So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space. Uh, you can increase that boot space even further should you wish to by folding down that uh, rear seat as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 4,311. Uh, above that, we have a trip computer. You can change the information displayed there using controls on the steering wheel. And you can have, as you can see, a digital readout for the speedometer, should you wish to. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done on the touchscreen in the center just here. Hit phone and then search device from there. Uh, you can see this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this system works on our website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, press the home button, we'll always take you back to here. When it comes to audio, we have plenty of ways we can listen to it. So AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, to the left-hand side of the stereo, we have the city button that makes the power steering lighter for parking, for example, with a heated steering wheel and a heated passenger seat. And on the uh, right-hand side, heated driver's seat, deadlock so you can lock the car doors from the outside and you can unlock them from there as well. Below that section, we have the air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, fan speed and direction of the air. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so off, and then it's on when that light shows just there. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set. And we have a rear heated screen up there as well. We have a 12 volt charging socket and the USB input I mentioned a moment ago. And then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.